What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I am ManBearPig97, and today we are back with more Breath of Fire. Now, in the last video, we had just gotten Bo, we had done all that good jazz in the village, talked, did the talky talk, the looky look, all that good jazz, and now... Hold on, now, is this the exit or the entrance to the cave? And how did he wind up? That's right, I put him in the front of the leaderboard to move him around. So the marble no longer is active. Let's see if I've got any more to go ahead and use one. Yes, we do. Not teardrop. And we're gonna see if we can't get through this cave and make it to this cave's boss, if you will. I feel like I've already been here. But we clearly have not made it all the way through. Or at least I don't think we have. But it certainly does look it, does it not? That's what I get for waiting too long to make a video. Pretty sure we have not done all this yet. Well, I mean, luckily the marble has lasted quite a bit. Maybe not all the way, but long enough at least. And it ain't gonna hurt to do a little fighting. You know, keep that strength going strong. Make us big and strong, take you up. Herb, all right. Oh, you hear that pretty drippy, drippy, droppy drop? Drippity, drippity, drippity drop. Seriously? Okay, so, that has me quite curious. Well, we now know that that bridge that runs across from this town and that tunnel both lead to the same place. So that's not the right way. But that's okay. Trial and error. Those have already been opened yet. Yes, okay. <coughs> so we have got to make it to the Golden City. That is where we are headed to next, where we will get a temporary fourth party member. If I'm not mistaken, he is not the main party member we will be getting soon. So we'll travel across here and then we'll go south for the time being and see what's over here. So that's not gonna be it. Wait a minute. I think I might know what I'm doing wrong, everybody. Let's find out. That's the tricky thing about classic games like this. Is he not gonna shoot his bow? There it is. Oh, I almost had him. And he disappeared. These little slime balls are just asking for it, man. Take them out. And let's try to figure out exactly where we're going. It's getting dark, so I'm betting if we can, you know, 
get three feet without getting attacked. I hate to waste all my marbles, but at the same time, can we move three paces without getting attacked? This is the hour of the zombies. Yes, it's kind of obvious. zombies around. We walked. This is Romero. Karma is west of here and Aga is north. <laughs> I believe there's like just one step that I'm missing somewhere. And we'll see if we can't figure out what that one step is. So they say absolutely nothing of any real use. Come on, quit attacking me. Oh, so close yet so far away. There we go. Got this floating castle. But it looks like that is not accurate. So that is not right. Life of me, I'm trying to remember exactly what is the next step. Pretty sure there ought to be a town over here, maybe. And maybe that's what we're missing, is we're supposed to go past this tower that we... I mean, we just came from this tower. That was the one that we beat, that I kind of screwed up on and forgot to loot everything, but it's alright. There's probably nothing too major in there. I mean, we got the, the boomerang and all that good jazz. Come on, I'm fixing to have to take a marble because it just... It's every two steps, man. And we can't really get anything accomplished if we are getting attacked constantly. Pop a marble. And see if I can't find a town of some sorts. soon because I'm down to my last marble after this one. There is a point that I'm missing so that way I can gain access to that next location.
cleansing water. So that's what I need to get is the water jug. supposed to get the water jug from cooperate right here maybe why is this hole here um I don't know So I've already gotten this. Okay. Excuse you. It's locked. Why is there a guy locked up in this room? I just, I've got to know. Why is there somebody locked in this room? So I need to get something called a water jug. use it to go collect some water from the spring that is southwest of here or south ish the question is where do I acquire the water jug it has been a little bit since I've played what do you know old timer I mean, I would love to rid you of said zombies if I knew where to get the water jug. Deal? That looks pretty, that's a pretty decent deal. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm supposed to talk to those people like I just did. Let's test a theory here. Now that we've talked to enough of the locals in this town to get told that we need the water jug to go and collect the cleansing water, maybe, just maybe, I'm going to get lucky and now that I've done just that and talked to the locals, found out what I need, because I know that I need to go into this town after hours, whenever it's dark out. And the zombies will then be out, and I should theoretically be able to get that water jug. See? You want the water jug, or water jar, to clear, clean the soil? My zombie husband will go away. I must leave now. The cleansing water will restore the village. I'll miss you, but if you insist... The cleansing water is in the cave to the west. Use the water jar under the tomb. And there is the water jar. Now we can go and collect some of this cleansing water couldn't have taken us the other direction. Now the cave is supposed to be to the west. Is that the cave that like we kind of can't really gain access to right now because it's kind of there? That's the cave. 
Now can I get to it from here is the question. Yes, I can. Wonderful! Wonderful. Except now I'm out of marbles. My marble's probably going to wear off soon and then I'm going to be in a Taxville City. <coughs> Unless, of course, I happen to find another marble in this cave. And the odds of doing that are probably slim to none. A nice hat? Hey! How nice is the nice hat? Is it very nice? So let's see what's down and to the right. All these things will be fairly simplistic to defeat. Keyword being should. There we go. There we go. Now we came in through that door there. Good. There's a chest here. Take herb. You can never have too many herbs. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. What in the blue blazes is that? An amoeblob? I got just the thing to fix you, gentlemen. Oh, they're getting smaller. It's just a little booger now. like a little booger. <coughs> okay, so the me blob can regenerate a tiny bit of lost health. Not by much, luckily. Those are some curious enemies, man. But hey, whatever gets the job done, right? through this cave, get a little bit of uh, the, the special water. Come on. We're good. It took that one out. Now we just got this one. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Oh, go up. Oh, are we there yet? Ah. You pretty cocky for one little bitty blurb. We defeated the blurb. Seriously? Um, let's go more. There's paths everywhere. I'm not sure which one to take and which one to not take. Oh, I didn't mean to run. I meant to do auto battle. You cheap son of a guns. absolutely have to because the more you run the less experience you're getting therefore because the, this is this game the way it works is not based on your level being the difficulty of the creatures instead 
This is a location-based leveling system. So the further into it you go, the stronger the enemies become. Which means if you don't get enough XP gathered before you get to a certain point in the game, everything will be much stronger than you. Like, much stronger than you. So you want to try to keep up the best that you can with that. There's a chest right there that I missed. Another one there. And we found the stairs. I kind of want to go back and find out what's in those chests. It might be herbs. It might be something good. Pig reach level 14, HP up 6, AP up 4, strength up 3, vigor up 4, agility up 5, wisdom up 1, and luck up 3. Uh, for the sake of the video, we're just going to keep on trucking. I'll check those off camera, so to speak. And if there's anything more than just some herbs or anything like that that's useless, I will let you know in the next video. Hello. Bronze hat. And an apple. That's kind of unique. So it drops my action by two, but takes my defense up four. So we'll run with that for now and see how it goes. Just for the time being. See, if it, if it drops his action points too much to where it's really causing problems and fights, I'll swap it back. Five, 61 out of 74, 98 out of 98, so we want to give her a bit of healing, take an acorn, get her, there we go, that way everyone has everything back to max level. Sprinkles the water. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkly, sprinkly. The cleansing water purified the soil. Yay! Thank you, warrior. Use this tablet to enter Agua. Antidote. 900 gold points. Herb. Cure. And you take tablet. Can I get Wi-Fi signal here? Do y'all have like a wireless internet capable for me to hook up to this tablet? Or are we talking like a stone tablet? Like, you know, made out of rock and stuff. And no, it's not a crack rock that it's made out of, if you're wondering. Just saying. So I've got 13,212 gold. Oh, decisions, decisions. We'll go ahead and buy a silk gown for her. Not bow. Please cooperate. Thank you. Takes my action up by two and defense up by five. Beautiful. Let's sell off some of the old stuff that we don't need. Ah, come on. Sell off the suede cap. The robe. 
short rapier, suede hat, dark, sell off the straw hat, because this is all things we no longer need. Wood shield, or wood, yeah, wood shield. I was about to say wood shirt like an idiot. Suede hat, because, you know, we make shirts out of wood. Suede hat, dress. Long sword, because we have a boomerang. Damn, that thing's worth twelve fifty. Not bad, buddy. Bandana goes for 200 We're fixing to pretty much pay for everything we're going to get. Is it just me or do we find it unusual that the wolf hat is worth 666 gold? I think I'm just going to hang on to that. Maybe it'll bring me good luck. one at a time because I honestly don't remember what I've got pig in. Not gonna lie. Let's see, he's wearing arm pads. Oh yeah, that took his defense up a lot. So let's go ahead and buy another one for home skill at OG Triple Trip. I don't see a better bow, so I'm assuming that there is not a better bow for bow. Alright, chain all right there. Oh yeah, that also takes his defense up quite a good bit. So then we're going to go ahead and sell those two arm pads, because that's an extra 150 gold, point, or gold coins that I can get off of those. That's well worth it. All right, now that we have got better armor. We're gonna go in here and buy a few more marbles. Marble threes or fours or whatever they have for sale here. Oh, crap. So they don't have any for sale here. How was I supposed to know that? I blame society. That's not nice. I'm sure he does. There's a boss that guards every area we go to. But it's okay. Because we've got Bo. And he has a bow and arrow. We've also got Nina with wings. It's okay. Bo reads the inscription on the tablet. And then this thing just kind of falls from the sky. so pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, man, I forgot all about this one. This is going to be fun, because this is a little confusing. Or at least it's going to seem rather confusing. <coughs> because if you notice, that door is locked, we can't get through, so what we use are these little pads. Now these pads have specifically designated areas of travel, as you can clearly see. So there's only so many ways we can go. Which can be kind of problematic. Alright, Warhog. Respect my authority! Took an acorn. Nothing like nibbling on an acorn. We all liked them, my dang old acorns. I tell you what, man. We got two war hogs. That's all right. Just rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. And then he'll take him out. Hopefully, Nina will be strong enough to take him out. Well, of course, 
left in true fashion, leaving with just enough to get a hit on Nina, who's actually in the back, which should, theoretically speaking, make her less of a target. Because if you notice the way the position is on all three characters, it looks as though Nina is standing a step back with Bo and Pig standing a step up. Now you can set that up specifically and what that is supposed to do is make it that so the person standing on the back line, if you will, takes less damage than the other one. Now, ooh, um... Oh yeah, just slam them both, one hit quit. I love it when that happens. Now for the life of me, I can't quite remember how to get into this. So I can't use that outside of battle. Bo can't break the wall. I know who can. So we are going to end up getting another gentleman. We'll, we'll get two different team members. One is temporary. He is a locksmith. He breaks locks. After that, we get a dude that looks like he's part man, part fish, who's a muscle builder. And he can break those walls down by just punching it like ridiculously crazy. S Rider, I'm going to assume that stands for Skeleton Rider. But it could mean Strider Rider. That even kind of sounds good, don't it? No, don't do that. Stop it. Strider Rider, ride or die, right? Yeah. Alright, now this is where it starts to get tricky. But, that being said, this is all the time we have for this video. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down, maybe even a comment to let me know what you think of the video or what you'd like to see in the future as far as new games or maybe even certain content that you know about in this game that I don't. I would love for you to let me know, and I'll see if I can't fe feature you in a video giving you props to discovering the location. Now, if I'm not mistaken, is this the right location? There is a building. I do know for sure. I feel like this is the right one. I will do a bit more research to determine. There is a building. In this game, I'm pretty sure this is the one that looks like this with these kind of walls that you can step back behind. Hold on. I'm betting money that this is it. I feel like this is the building. I really do. I feel like this is the building. So I'm going to stick on for just a moment longer and let the video go a little longer than I normally do to see if I can find the, I know of a specific secret in this game. I just don't know exactly where the secret was. But on one of these walls like this, you can walk into a secret room in the wall. And there is some secret treasure there that is very rare and extremely powerful. The game will not tell you about it. And I want to say it was in this particular area, like in this building. But I'm probably going to Google it to be sure. So that way I can produce a video showing y'all exactly where it's at. Because it is a secret chest hidden in the wall that doesn't look like you can go through the wall just because the way the wall is shaped kind of like this here. But it doesn't look like I found it. So, if you like what I'm doing, please leave a like. 
Comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know secrets. Let me know anything. Just say hi. It doesn't matter. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And turn on notification bell so you never miss a video. And as always, hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And I will see you in the next video.